I'm Norm Leppel. I serve as the uh, Integrated Pest Management Coordinator for the University of Florida Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences. And I'm Howard Frank. I work on biological control of pest insects and for quite a few years I've been very interested in pest mole crickets. Howard, tell us, tell us a little bit about the history of this project of mole cricket biological control. Very interesting, Norm. We have four species in Florida. One of them's native, doesn't cause any problems, doesn't damage pastures. Three that are non-native. Florida ranchers turned to the state legislature and asked for something to be done for them. Now this is where we came in. We in entomology, nematology at the University of Florida got into this project right at the beginning, late 1970s, trying at first to learn as much as we could about pest mole crickets, about sampling methods for them, about their behavior, about where they'd come from, about their biochemistry, all with the thought to, can we use biological control to deal with these pest mole crickets? To cut a long story short, by the Nine, by the mid-1980s, the project had imported three potential biological control agents for pest mole crickets. We'd also done considerable background study of mole cricket populations. We learned that their numbers fluctuate from year to year. We had developed ways of trapping mole crickets simply for, for, for monitoring them rather than for controlling them and found out that numbers of mole crickets that we could trap varied from year to year and were not either increasing or decreasing. So we assembled data that showed a nine-year record of mole cricket numbers trapped in the Gainesville area and some other areas in Florida and they were not increasing at the time, neither were they decreasing. 